Yeah, we rolling. Are. Let's just you know, yes, sir. Keep it going. That uh, this shit is very hard to learn though. Like in terms of like, that's one thing I honestly wanted to ask you. I guess we could kind of like touch on that first. Is uh, how do you market yourself, bro? In the uh, in the music industry, like how do you? Cause this, like marketing this. I mean, it's fun. It's cool. It's a little bit easier for this, I would assume. But tackling like all these technical problems and like the marketing aspect of it, like how was that for you? Like in the as uh, a rapper, um, I think it's like. The same as, like, anything. You know what I mean? I feel like the best way is just market you. Yeah. Like, I guess with music, like, that's the forefront of the product. So, yeah. I feel like that's myself. But I haven't done it as much as I would like to because I want to start dropping new things, you know what I'm saying, we're, yeah. we're going to discuss on. But I feel like that's it. Like, market you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But you TikTok, have all the so- social media brands, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and push it on a high level. Like, people, like, now it's like, yo... I'm on the phone, you're on TikTok, you scroll, and yeah. now you need something right after that. Yeah. I like that, too. Like, I think uh, I think that makes a lot of sense because what you were just saying before we started recording, like, yeah, you can like somebody's music, but once you get introduced to their character, and yeah. you could, you could kind of get a feel for who they are as a person, Yeah. as a listener, it almost connects you to them so much more and, like, you respect who they are, like, their authenticity. I feel like authenticity is a major thing oh, when, it's, when it's, you're t- like, talking about an artist. It's every. I think it's everything, and I think it's, like, if you're looking even at a fighter or something like you want something where you're going to be like, yo, I feel like I would connect with that guy. Yeah. Like, I feel like he's yeah. speaking on some, some, I believe. Yeah. Or like, he's just him. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And in a world where it's like, it's very easy to be like everybody else. It's like cool when you get mm. something refreshing, you know what I'm saying? So I took a step back and then you could go the other route. Like Kendrick Lamar is not on social media. Yeah, that's true too. So, so sometimes saying less is like saying yeah. a lot more yeah. words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's really that's really deep, man, for sure. For somebody think, like him though, I think it like it only works for somebody like a Kendrick Lamar because of all the work he put in prior to that. No, yeah, I was gonna, I mean? yeah, I was going to touch on that just because it's he built up that reputation to where it's like you kind of expect Kendrick to be gone yeah. after he drops an album. Like you don't even need to hear from him on no media or nothing. You just know every time he comes to like the forefront, he's going to deliver. So you're just expecting that. All you care about Kendrick Lamar for is his art for him. You're not following Kendrick for no social media. Which is cool. Advice. Which is, yeah, which it's is, cool. Because, bro, you look at social media as a whole, and it's like, there's so many people. Like, marketing's huge, though. I'm not saying that marketing isn't everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, it depends who you want to be and what's your niche and where you want to fit in. Like, there's a lot of people who I lost respect because how they market themselves mm. or, like, who they portray to be. And you see that on the media. It's open. It's right there for you. You and could tell a lot about a person for how they portray themselves on, like, Instagram or Snapchat and whatnot. And I think that's huge because it's, like, I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't try too hard to, to be you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and I feel like the music should speak for itself if it's music. For sure. If I'm selling clothes, like, I don't want you to be, like, oh, I make funny videos, so please buy my shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just, like, yo, that shirt is... Mm. Top quality, I want that shirt. You know what I'm saying? So In any art, I think that that's what you're trying to aim for. You want whatever it is that you're doing to speak for itself. That's, like, my whole idea with this. Like, we're big. Like, we're on the marketing phase right now. Like, we're more worried about, like, how we're going to get it out there to everybody, what places to go, what platforms to use. But uh, I think that's really helped us out a lot with this whole thing is, like, keeping these people. um, Shit, what's the word for it? I don't know. I guess, like, kind of to that same Kendrick thing, it's like they see it, they hear about it, like, every so often, like, every month. They hear, they get a little bit, little snippet, and it keeps them excited for what's coming next. So it keeps people locked in yeah. so that, like, when you're actually getting the ball rolling like we are, that's why we just shot it out there was for, like, now they have that content. Like, they have something to look forward to, and yeah. they know it's coming. They know we're not just going to be, like, in the ghost or in the dark no more. And once you get that ball rolling, I think it's very important. I think I think – it goes two ways. It's like if you're not doing anything, the ball's rolling the other way. And yeah. then it's very hard to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. You need you know momentum, I mean? man. You need to build momentum. And that's how it goes. Yeah. It just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was what was y'all thing to be like, yo, I feel like we got something to talk about and like we gotta we gotta start it off and like really start this podcast. What was like that? Um, I guess I wouldn't say it was like a specific thing. I would say it was more like, more or less, like, the snowball effect of it. Like, one shit got to a point where it was like this, and, like, we had everything we needed. It was to a point where all we had to focus on was, like, getting guests and, like, getting it out there. 
I feel like you're too far to turn around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you're too far. We're too deep into it to just give up. You know what I mean? But before that, like, what do you think got us? Like, got us really into this? Yeah. Shit, what like was the podcasting? thing that was like, yo? Like, you're watching it one day, and you feel like, yo, I got some shit. I gotta say. Yeah. I would say for me, anyways, it was like being a huge fan of podcasting prior to doing it myself. So like just listening to it, yeah. but also just like yeah. the art of conversation and talking to people like me and him talk about it all the time. I think the best way to like learn anything in life or like to learn or is to like learn from somebody else's mistakes or yeah, um, I heard that. shortcomings or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, success as well. success as well. I think in these conversations, you learn a lot from people and you learn how to like navigate through your own life a lot better with the knowledge of how somebody might have taken a loss or how somebody may have taken a win. And basically, I guess just for me, it's just like the, the art of conversation for me is beautiful. I think like it can unlock so many doors for you in life. Yeah. Just what, as general as that. Yeah. I mean, I think that's everything. I feel like, I feel like too, that's what tripped me up like about music. Like I ain't dropping a minute because I'm looking at like, all right, you got somebody who does such big things. But then their real life, all right, so you're looking at somebody who's who's big. It could be fighters. Like, you look at Mike Tyson, you're like, yo, he's on top yeah. of the world. Like, it's Mike Tyson. Like, yeah. But then you look at, like, he talks about his personal life. It's like, it's like, damn, like. He's a human too, man. Yeah, no, yeah. He, obviously. But then you start learning, it's like, but what do I want in life? Like, I was sitting back, and I was around certain people that are doing it. Like, yeah. Yeah. and just drawing inspiration. But then I'm like, personally, though, like, yo, who am I, like, when my family's around? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like a lot of people are, like, just switch up and, and just change everything about them to be like, yo, I'm, I'm going to fit this, all right, image. This persona they, they, yeah. they want to, yeah. like, persuade. What do, you think, uh, what do you think got you into music? Like, what do you, like, take us through that. Like, when you were young and when you were looking at the MTV screen and stuff like that and you that's were dressing my, in the cool clothes. Like, <laughs> what, what do you think took you to that route? And, and how do you think you discovered, like, this is what I want to do in your own life? I think, bro, I remember it like literally yesterday. I tell the story to everybody, and people who know me probably laugh. But when I was six, the first person who put me on to, like, my dad's big into music. My grandpa was a singer. You got some artists in your family, too, right? Yeah. Your dad does art and two shit. Yeah, it's shout out Pops. Yeah, he's really, he really <laughs> draw like that, and he really, he got, like, that imagination. Like, he could mm-hmm. pull something from nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right-brained. Yeah. And I think it's crazy because he was so close to his dream. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I didn't know that. Like, my dad's older. Yeah. It's like, one day I'm coming home, and, like, I go to my grandma's house, and they're fighting. I'm like, oh, what's all this? I'm, like, five. My dad's, like, he sold his movie to Disney, and they, they ripped him off. Whoa, flushed Away. What? If anybody Whoa. knows Flushed Away. Flushed I know, Away. I know that the rack goes down. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. He, he drew that. Word Are two. you dead serious? Hold and on. It was called Rugrats. Whoa, look that up. Look that hold up. Word on. Two. Yeah. You said flushed away. Flushed I know. Away. I, bro, I used to watch that movie all the time when I was a kid. That's pretty wild. Great movie. Dog. And tell me how I watched it, but didn't know. Wait. So, so your dad drew the animation for that movie. Yeah. And that was his thing. What? Like he would do. His big thing was comic books. So what I thought was cool about him, like this shit right here. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's OG. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I watched thing, that movie a bunch of times. Yo, I, I know that movie too. And he has a drawing board for all of it. And it's crazy because Disney, like, bro, my grandma's, like, she's a loving mother. You know what I'm saying? Every son sure. who's chasing a dream. And she doesn't realize how big Disney is. Like, you, can yeah. be like, you gotta fight that. Oh, yeah. But, like, you're fighting, bro, they own, big like, time. everything. Like, it's... Mm. Big time. It is Disney. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blue chip. In the film yeah. space, yeah. they're the top dogs. Yeah. yeah. And, but I learned a lot from him, and it was until I got older. Yeah. Like, I used to go in, like, I was third, fourth grade. He's like, yo, my dad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's mm-hmm. like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But then I'm going, even, even as I'm getting older, like, I'm doing music, and I'm in the attic, right? I'm helping him. I'm like, yo, what is this shit? It's bag, dust all over it. Yeah. Which speaks a lot. Yeah. Like, you haven't been it's in like this bag. Movie, like, your, like, your past. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Are you like, I wish I did this. And, like, maybe took a loss as, like, yo, that means I got something. Like, Disney wants my ID. Like, all right, I'm going to flip that script and be like, Somehow, some way, do some shit my own. And, but it taught me a lot about business too. And I'm sitting there going through old shit. And you gotta have a lot of imagination, man. Comic books and all this stuff, like how deep it was to the storyline, each characters. Yeah. But it, but it taught me uh, a lot of things. Like, you look at movies and you're like, yo, it's a great business to work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
music, great business to work in. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of strange, strange shit that go on for like the money. So like seeing that, it kind of brought some new to me to be like, you know, like why am I into the music shit? And back to your question was like, when I was six, like it gave you a voice. Like when you six, like when you listen to music, you. You're just in the zone. You know it's what I mean? something you gravitated yeah. towards just naturally? Like, you heard it, and it just like a spark? This kid named Devon, uh, I was in, like, this little class during the summer, and he played Smack That by Akon and Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he talked, bro, like, I would come in, he'd be like, nah, that's, that's fly. He was my hype man. You yeah, feel yeah. me? Yeah, like, yeah. he was, like, telling me what's, what, yo, wear that, yo, don't wear that. You know what I'm saying? I was a little white kid in a do-rag, yeah. man, like... <laughs> But you walk outside, and my grandma lived on Academy Street, mm -hmm. and it's like, everybody's playing that music. It's like something where, like, you might not know somebody, and then, yo, that's my favorite song. Or, like, you might have something to say and, like, have no other way to express it through music. And yeah. M, M was my guy. Like, yeah, of course, man. Every white boy goes through an Eminem yeah. stage. Yeah. Like <laughs> no, every, every one. Eminem stage, like, for sure. E every one. And, <laughs> yeah. and he was for sure my guy. Yeah. Cause I think he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's big. Which is which is big. Do you think you draw a lot of inspiration from like current today artists or like from anybody local either? Like, is it like a friendly competition there that like boosts everybody, it helps everybody out, or do you just draw a lot of that inspiration from your family and people that are already out there famous? They're doing it, and like these are just people you look up to a lot. I think it's I think it's everything, like all those combined. But you get a different amount of respect. And, like, when it's people you know. Like, yeah. there's people like, shout out Diz, Tom Sav, Zay, like, a bunch more people. But the first people I was working with was Diz and Tom Sav in, in Diz's basement. And Sav looked at me. He's like, I was just young, scrawny and shit, rapping. And Sav's like, don't give a fuck. Like, look up in the mirror and be like, yo, like, I do this. Yeah. And, like, I didn't know anybody else who rapped. I went to Crestwood. Mm. So, like, yeah. in the day, I I really was rapping. Like, I had videos, like, when I am like, eight. Like, I'm, I remember stealing my grandpa's watch and, like, being in my room, <laughs> being, like... Because when you're a kid, that's, like, putting on a jersey and being, like, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a football, football player. player. I'm a basketball player. Yeah, like, like yeah. it's just something. You were a rapper. Yeah, yeah. I was a rapper. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy. People were telling me, oh, go on Ellen, do all this stuff. Like, hyping <laughs> me up. Yeah. <laughs> go to Crestwood. Not fucking with it. Like, yeah. it was, like, oh, you think you're black? This or that. But that's just what I drew to. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And I think it's it's like having that voice to say something that you need to say. And mm -hmm. but definitely the people who you're around, I could vouch be like, take that away from you. Like your vision of yourself. Like what would you want to be if no if you didn't give a fuck? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it was just you on this planet, like you would probably be doing shit mm -hmm. a lot differently. Hell yeah, man. But if there was the no game. wall up, like if you didn't put such a wall yeah. up. Yeah, and I did that. I, yeah. I that did not that. giving a fuck trait is like, I believe. It's I believe a non-negotiable. It yeah, it's, it has to be. But yeah. I believe it to be like one of the most important things if you want, not even just to entertain, but like to start any kind of business or your own, because you're obviously going to have doubters. You're obviously going to have haters. Believe me, like with this we shit, love we know. Yeah, we love them. But that not giving a fuck is, like, one of, I feel like, the biggest things I personally have had to overcome to, like, make it that much easier to, like, put what I have to say out there. You know what I mean? So I think that goes a long way for anybody. Anybody making music or doing podcasts or anything. That's just what we do. But that not giving a fuck mentality is crucial. Like, you need that, in yeah. my opinion. And, and I think that's a fact. And I think, like, people, like, try to make it seem like it's a selfish thing. But then you realize, like, I, if I don't love what I do and, like, I'm confident in what I do, like, that's the whole point of life, I feel like. Yeah. And if you don't, you're taking it away from yourself. And, like, look at M. Or, like, not just M. Like, bro, I I listen to everything from, yeah. like, every type of music. And, like, they're the ones who do the forefront so I could, like, believe in myself, I feel like. Like, they're, they're starting it off. Like, someone before rap was created had to be like, no, we're doing this. And people be like, what is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like it would be kind of disrespectful to them yeah. to be, like, not to run with that and take it further. Mm -hmm. And they took it. I feel like the real ones would respect that, and and in his, any industry to be like, yeah, like that's what that's yeah. what we paid. I the think way a for. lot of people like, like they hunger for a form of expression. You know what I mean? And yeah. a lot of people I don't think are connected with how to express themselves in such an authentic way. And I think when they see people that find their thing, whether that be music, whether that be yeah. art, whether that be literally engineering, whatever it might be, I think there's a form of envy and jealousy there. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, but they're. 
There always will be. And I think it's a good thing to understand that that's a thing. Yeah, for sure, man. And not try to, like, hide that. Like, there's going to be people who hate. Mm -hmm. Like, literally to get me motivated, like, I think it was, like, last month. I'm sitting there late at night, and I'm going through, like, I kind of had an identity crisis. Like, yo, wasn't making as much music. Or, like, yo, what do I really want to say? Yeah. I'm older now. I feel like I, I really got a lot of shit to say. And I'm going through, like, all the people that were supporting me. I got videos on videos. Mm. But then I also had a lot of haters. Like, yo, mm -hmm. my first song, a couple kids I knew, like, seniors were like, that shit was ass. Never yeah. played that shit. Around. Weak. Weak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And then I see him again. Like, even my teacher was like, yo, you just a kid from Mountaintop. Yada, yada, yada. I'm in the back of class. Like, trust me, Mr. Kane. I'm going to do this shit. <laughs> yeah. You're going to regret this. <laughs> and I seen him at Odyssey. Yeah. And he's like. Yo, I listened to it. I was on a car ride with my daughter. He was like, <laughs> "You had, you had flow." I'm sorry. I was like, "I was like, I cool. respect you for saying that." Cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And not everybody's gonna love it. Like, I don't like everybody's music. Yeah. Yeah. But as I got older, I stopped like criticizing people who are just doing what they want to do. Yeah. Because that takes that takes a lot of balls. You know what I'm saying? That takes mm. a lot of balls to be like, "Yo, this is what I believe in. This this is how I'm stepping." Proving you somebody wrong feels a lot better than praise, too, in my opinion. Even, like, hate, mm. to a degree, could feel better than praise, but I think more than hate, it's the actual act of proving whoever is hating on you wrong, to me, feels way better than any kind of praise you can get from people that actually like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I feel that because you're always going to get that, but I feel like once you get to a certain stage, or, like, peace with yourself, like, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. And, like, bro, fuck, fuck anybody. I got to start proving to myself, like, yo, I, I know I'm that dude. Yeah. Because I think that comes with the game. Like, anybody's mm. going to hate, prove them wrong. But that don't accomplish nothing. No. Like, I got to get to a, a space where I'm thinking clearly and being like, this is what I want to say no matter what mm. anybody's going to say. It's not even for them. Like, if I give you any time, like, mm. I'm not giving you no time. Like, you're going to see what I could do. I agree. Yeah. But it do feel good. I'm, and even, I'm Kevin, if I say it don't feel good. And even better than proving somebody else wrong, I also think it's probably better to or proving other people wrong, it's probably better to prove yourself wrong. Because I think everybody has doubts about themselves, too, and what they can accomplish, too. Yeah, like, you know push I mean? your boundaries, push your own yeah. limits. I think it is important, though, like, to be able to block out both hate and praise. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if you're a person who allows yeah. praise to lift you up and make you happy and, like, excited yeah. and joyous, then mm -hmm. you might also be vulnerable to somebody's hate. For sure. So you got to sit right in that yeah. happy ground, like, hey, you really fuck what I'm doing? Mm. Cool. I don't really give a fuck that much. Yeah. Oh, you hate yeah. what I'm doing? Cool. I don't really give a fuck, fuck that, that much. much. You're just yeah. doing it because it's like, it's an expression of yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's something that's dying to come out of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever that might be. You got to be your biggest motivator. You can't let people dictate whether you're happy or non happy in your career. I think you're your biggest motivator at the end of the day. I, I think that's the fun part about it, though. If it was like, yo, I didn't have doubts about me, everybody's going to love me then this, like, whole thing wouldn't even be, like, that's, like, the What's game. the point, yeah. Yeah, but I think that did fuck with me what you said. Like, like no one's there clapping when you're losing. Mm. But it feels good when people clap when you win. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But you got to create that distance a little bit, you yeah. know what I mean? Just getting your own lane, I think, yeah. is, is the best thing because, like, I remember I would be, like, everybody would be, like, because I did have really good friends around my circle being, like, yo, Mm. You're nice Gassing you up right Yeah yeah. Or just being real with me Yeah yeah that's true too You need those good friends too Yeah and definitely sometimes It was like gassing You yeah. know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying Like they'd be at a party You'd be like Yo turn the beat on I remember I was younger I, Like I left the house I was like yo Don't ever do that again I was so nervous Yeah mm. You feel me Cause I don't know I kept that between me Like this is what I do Like I never thought about it Like on that big scale I remember vividly Being like Back in school You know when they used to be like Yo what do you wanna be yeah. Mm. I always knew I wanted to be a rapper, mm -hmm. but I always put soccer player and I wasn't even oh, I wasn't even like, I did that like too, that man. Too. Yeah. I did that too when I was a kid. They used to be like, yo, what do you want to be? And I used to say something so mundane and stupid. No, and damn well I wanted to go to the so league. No one could judge but you, I didn't yeah. want you to say, That's too hard, man. I didn't want you to put me down. Because yeah. maybe I didn't believe in myself enough. Yeah. Maybe that's what that was. That, that's what it, I bro. You got to be able to fucking show your chest a little bit yeah. and, sh and just openly say what you want to do. I think the words are powerful, man. No, they if you're if you're open powerful. about yeah, if you're open about what you want to do, if you're if you're willing to say it, if you're bold enough to say mm -hmm. this is what I want to do, that, confidently look a motherfucker in his eyes yeah. while you say that shit. Yeah, that, that, that 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 boosts the odds a little bit, right? Yeah, and and that's the thing, like gives you that clarity, right? The odds are always stacked against you, though. Like being broke is hard. I think y'all touched about this. Being mm -hmm. rich yeah. is hard. And yeah. I and I been, choose your heart. Yeah, and it's crazy because, like.
like you go through your whole life and not hear that, and then you hear that, and you're like, mm. that that really makes sense. Like <laughs> you want to be lazy and make no money and bitch about it. Like that's that's hard. Yeah, not like, easy. Yeah, definitely not easy. And so is being rich. Yeah, and it's very easy to criticize the king. It's very easy to be like, you mm. should have done this, you should have done that. Mm. That's always. If it's been like that back then, it's it's gonna be even more like that now when somebody could just send a tweet. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Back then you no gotta have a messenger. You gotta go. You might fucking around and get stoned, stoned for yeah. saying some oh, shit like are. that. Oh, you are. Right. Sto- <laughs> yeah, right. You're getting Nowadays, stoned. Nowadays you don't get that type of treatment. No, nah. no. You get to hide behind a little safety net, like a yeah. little wall. You get to say whatever you want to people, and there's no repercussion. But I feel like that's, and it's not easy to anybody mm. listening. Like, that's that's where the great shit happens. That's where the magic happens. You know, people are like, all right. Kobe, you know what I'm saying, got 61 his last game because he's been practicing every single day that yeah. jump shot. Consistency. So when that, when that shit happens, you're prepared, you know what I'm saying? You got some people like AI who, like, don't go to practice doing this or that. But, like, I feel safer being like, yo, I'm putting my money on this, and mm-hmm. I work for everything for this. So, like, there's a better chance, yeah. better odds. But odds are always stacked against you. I mean, you, we all know a lot of people, man, that think shit just gets handed to you. That in life, shit's just going to come your way. It's going to look up. Things are going to work out. But these are also a lot of people that don't put, like you were touching on, the consistency and the time in. You know what I mean? You, nothing, nothing great is going to come to you without the time and effort, in my opinion. Yeah, and, and like, I could vouch for that. Because I've, I've definitely been on the other side being like, yo, fuck this shit. Being low and being like, you know what I'm saying? Like, listening to the hate. You know what I'm saying? But it, I, I really think, like, it's very powerful and freeing to be like, why should I give a... They fuck, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, knowing, like, yo, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, look at motherfucking his eye and be like, this is who yeah. I am, this is what I do. Yeah. And it's weird. Once you put that out there to the world and you take action to execute, mm. it's like the world's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It'll like, test you a little bit. The world will push you. Like, do you really want this? <laughs> yeah. Is this really what you want? Yeah. That's and the if you next keep step, pushing though. back, you'll be like, okay. And then you reap the, wo- the rewards then, of putting in that work. And then it's the same thing what you said before. It's like, all right. Do that, and you're like caught up on a win. You're like, I'm the man. Mm, I'm yeah. the man. Then there's, yo, there's somebody chasing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? There's somebody who's working harder that's not the man yet. For sure. And they're going to want to test the man. Because mm-hmm. you're in a position where it's like, yo, I'm coming up. Like, mm. I feel like the baddest motherfucker at what I do. Yeah. So, like, it's not, it's not a game where it's like, once you win, you're, you're secured. Nah. Oh, nah. You're more, you're more like, you're more vulnerable. At you're that more point. asked out. It's like, mm-hmm. yo, you're in like, a palm of piranhas yeah, at that point, yeah, man. Yeah. And that's a good thing though, too. Like I noticed like, once you get to that point, you got to keep proving why. And that, if mm. that didn't happen, like what would keep you on your game? That sounds like J Cole, man. J Cole just sitting up there. Nice. Or J Cole Kendrick sitting up there. Yeah. Real nice. Yeah. Drake sitting up there. Real nice. Mm. Real nice. And, and they, they got every time they the drop pedal. some shit, it's just like, whew. Yeah. Jeez. They're keeping their foot on Bro, the pedal though. The, the Jeez. Music, the music game like anything else, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, Parallels. Par- everywhere. Yeah. Everything's connected, bro. Yeah, for that, sure. I love that. that. Got clipped that one for sure. Yeah, because it, it really is. like, And you should notice that. like, But everything's like the same way, like Drake, right? People listening to this, you know what I'm saying? Don't believe everything you see. You know what I'm saying? You go to a record label, they're giving you a loan. Just they act as a bank, you know what I'm saying? I could be the man overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I rock with Jake. I rock with anybody chasing a dream. You know what I'm saying? There's no hate to whatever you do, is that, whatever is best in your situation. But, like, you getting co-signed, you doing all this, that, it's like boosting your, it's boosting your eyes, right? Yeah. And once you get there so long, like, yo, I know this guy, like, yo, we're going to keep playing his shit. Mm. Yo, like, like that's, that's, how you, that's how you run the game, get in the chokehold, yeah. and you don't let up. But it's very, like, yo, who you know. Mm. And it's very, like, if you're powerful enough to be, like, Play his shit. Like, Jay's a mastermind, I think, a chess player. We was talking about yeah. how, how everything's connected. Yeah. Dude came up, got his record deal, said, now nah, I could do it better. Mm. Made their own record deal. Dame Dash was moving different, and they had two different sides of the story. Kicked Dame off the ship. Wasn't running it right. Started, he was the president of Def Jam. Now, so think about this as competition. In fighters, it's not the same. So I'm a rapper, you're a rapper, you're a rapper. Yeah. I own my own label. I'm the hottest in the game. I own my masters. I'm getting, I'm getting all this money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You signed to me, you signed to me. You my competition. He had DMX. Mm. That's his competition. DMX want to drop an album? Nope. Mm. That's ch- I'm, I'm at the top of the... Yo, you know what I'm saying? No one's playing with my position. Mm-hmm. Top of the game. And it could be different stuff. That's just how I, I see it. 
Boom, how he do that? Okay, so now he already, he got all these people, you know what I'm saying? Then he know music and sports go hand in hand. Start that shit, like Saquon Barkley signed to him for his agency and stuff like that, sports agency. And then started being like Apple Music come up. There's no more CDs. Yeah. Start his own streaming. He's getting 100% royalty. He cut the middleman out. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm putting up the money. I get the rewards. And he dictate how the game is now going to be played. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's, I think it's, it's different. You got to watch how you man maneuver. You can't change the chessboard. You could just try to make the best move where you're at. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not at a space to be like making crazy moves. I got to make the little moves. You got to push those pawns little. first. Yeah. Man, yeah. Right? For yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? To get to the point of king because that shit mm, don't checkmate. come overnight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When how you, important to you is owning your masters? How important is that? What does that mean? What does, that mean? what does that? owning your masters mean? Basically owning the rights to everything you do. Legally. Yeah, into intellectual property. Oh, okay, IP, right? Isn't that what they call yeah. it? So it's like, like, it's having proof that this is my idea. Like, anybody could steal a song if I don't have my, if I'm not owning it. Like, if I'm in a label, they own my shit. Like, they reaping the benefits of, of what I do. You know what I'm saying? Which is, labels are like, everybody hates on labels. But like, if they're putting the money out there for you, yeah. Right. Like it's not yeah. like they're just it's a like, business. Yo, it's, it's a business. business. And yeah. business is business. You need to understand that it's not, it's business. You yeah. know what mm -hmm. I mean? They're not just going to look out for you with nothing in return. You know what I mean? But That's I, how business goes. 100%. And I think, I think it's like the biggest thing. So like your family could be good after you. You know what I mean? That's why you see DJ Khaled like putting his son on the shit and the writers and stuff like that. So like he could be getting money from that shit too. But I think it's, I think it's yeah. everything. Like you have your ID to start the podcast. Mm. You're standing on what you brought to the table. This is yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's yeah. the biggest thing. Because personally, I'm big on that. I don't think I would ever sell the rights to this podcast to like a big network or something. Because that's big. That happens That happens everywhere in today's day and age with podcasting. People are like uh, Sports Illustrated or fucking the Barstool. Like they're buying. Barstool is a big one. They're buying podcasts left and right. Yeah. I'm big on not doing that. Because if whatever money somebody willing or somebody is willing to offer you for your art and your talent... You could 10x that shit by yourself. You know what I mean? If they're yeah. offering you whatever, 10,000, you could turn that shit into 100,000 yourself. You know what I mean? If they're willing to offer you that amount, just know that they know that they can get more money for their investment. Yeah, it's, They'll make a return. It's easy to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then when you understand like how much they control, like, all right, we coming up. It's like we got this money. We're going to put it all into this. You got certain businesses who work way smarter, not harder. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, we could, we could control this. And then some, some business deals are, are smart. It's not like how it's just seen by the public. Like, a lot of it sometimes, too, could be a good partnership. Like, yo, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we respect sure. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, like, I like this brand, too. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're going to work together to push this. Because, like, I want my music to be heard by everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like it depends on the situation. And, but it is a big thing. Like, there's a lot of sellouts and however you want to see it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I think it's like, this is what you said. This is, what I, this is my property. This yeah. is what I believe in. So I'm going to stand by that. And mm -hmm. I think that speaks a lot of, of volume. So. What are your overall thoughts on the music industry? <sighs> man, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, you think you understand it? Like, do you understand the way things work and, like, the, the, like, stuff like that? I think that's why I took a lot of time off to, like, Really understand that, and then see for myself. Like, talk my talk about that ATL trip you took too, because I know you learned a lot there as well. Yeah, shout out to Block, um, shout out to BB, uh, Big Roo, my people down there. Um, what zone were you in in Atlanta? I was in yeah. Zone Three. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it, it's really cool because, man, it was cool to see like how much the culture affects yeah. everybody. Like, yeah. and they ride for their people crazy. Was it a shock for you, like stepping in that new environment, or no? Oh, it was. It was already a shock. From where I'm from, but it yeah. was a really big shock to be like, this is real life. Yeah, like these people really got deals. Rick Ross is on mm -hmm. the phone. I only heard him through earbuds, so I realized like, yo, you're not as far from your dream as yeah. it's like an illusion. You know what I mean? Like, bro, these people are real people. Like yep. Rick Ross is a real people. Yeah, like he's a real human. He didn't start off as Rick Ross in yeah. the lights, but <laughs> crazy man. I I just think the culture down there is crazy. I got so much respect for like. A lot of kids come down there with nothing, and mm. they making shit happen with no excuses. It's just so natural. Yeah, there's a studio in the crib. 
Yeah. Like, ATL is at like the forefront of the, the music industry. Yeah. yeah at least it might be leading right like now. the rap game right now. You think ATL's on top of I the rap game right now? Or Chicago? It's like a renaissance what out there for you. <laughs> the, the rap renaissance. Yeah. ATL. It, it, I think it's. I think it's like a balance between like the big cities and like one week or one month when somebody drop an album it might be but ATL's got a lot of guys like their yeah. roster is stacked. Yeah. Like free right. yeah, free Gunna, free Young Thug like <laughs> that's just crazy. <laughs> On but, the Rico. And and, and, and oh, Block man. Block was the first one to sign Young Thug. Yeah, who is this guy? Who's that Block guy? You were telling me about him. Me and me and Cinco were were uh delivering and making kombucha for a kombucha. little while. Shout out Natalie. Know. And yeah. he was telling me a lot about this shit, man. It was a co- really cool like experience you had it was really like it didn't feel real just because yeah like i got so much respect for him because a lot of people like could talk a lot of shit yeah for sure yeah. he did not talk he just did like i basically spoke for him for my friends to be like yo that was one of the greatest experiences i got in my mm. life every day we're coming out of the crib yo music video this or that and one night um we go and like we're riding with the boss like me and bb yeah shout out bb one of the best artists i ever worked with out of atl um, so he's in family with Block and we go out with Block you like something inside of you like like just like if you was me and Joe Rogan it's just like yo this is a big moment you know what yeah. I'm saying we going out with Block I spent 5,000 in the mall at Lennox that day <laughs> not my smartest decision you know what I'm saying you had the ball out you're though, a rapper right? though, yeah, right? I, it's I a lot of the culture <laughs> no, I, I don't want to be like yo cause I'm a rapper but definitely it is it is that feeling of being like yo you know, I'm out here. I got to I gotta be like, yo, this is... Without speaking words, I'm speaking words. Yeah. So I come back to the crib. They're like, all right. Like, yo, we see you. We see you. You know what I'm saying? And Block come back that night. He like, you want to come to Atlanta? He like, you flexing this shit? $60,000 Rolex. You know what I'm saying? For his John. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For a birthday. Oh, man. 60000 I never seen a Rolex like that in my yeah. life. So I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? I'm like... But he gave me a lot of respect. He let me stay mm. and like artists is coming through. You know what I'm saying? And like you going down and like uh low key RIP, his manager's right there. Yo, what's up? They put me in in Dope Boy merch. Shout out Dope Boy merch. You looked that up. The baby, RIP King Von, rocking that shit, T I Jeezy. He's touched in. Like he's tapped in with everybody. Like he's block is really like when you go around mm. with him, he gets stopped more than rappers. Like he gets, he gets real love. He feed the streets. You think that was a touching moment for you? Like when you connected with this dude, like did it really seem as though like shit was really looking up? Like it was possible? Like you think it clicked? When when did it click for you? Kind of circling back to that question. Like when did you realize that this is like shit, man? I could take this to the next level. You know what I mean? When it's crazy because you know when I was like younger, like first coming out, dropping music, I was in New York spending all the money I had at Quad Studios. That's a cool studio too, isn't it? Isn't that like a prestigious studio out there too? That's where that's where Pac got shot. And that's where oh, Biggie wow, was yeah. always recording. So yeah. like you ride up and that's the thing, like I didn't have to spend the money there. Yeah. Don't think like you could do it at home. But it's a certain feeling when you're in the elevator. Yeah. Mm. And you're like, Pac got shot in this elevator. Yeah. Oh man. Which it's is in the element. Which like is at that point. Yeah, you feeling like, yo, like this is this is what's happening. And I leave there and you know like them little shits you park your car and you like you keep them in for like a couple of hours, and they're like, in New York you can't park really. Oh yeah, on the yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I go back and the shit's shut, so I'm walking back and I felt like I had to say something. Like Block was there with his two artists, Big Rube, BB. In New York. Yeah. Okay. Because they was doing promotion. That's where you met them at, right? In New the, York. This is like three years prior. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Just to clarify. Got you. And I see them, and I'm like, yo, that's a crazy outfit. Yeah, off white rollies and all that shit. Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, come fuck with my artist. I'm like, I just recorded. So I go back to my car, and I'm like, yo, shit locked down. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm in New York. Hit him up because we got their number. Mm. Like, fuck it. Let's walk through the city. We walking through the city, just me, BB, and Big Rue. And we're, like, looking up at this big-ass city and, like, all young chasing our dream. And we're like, yo, one day, however our past come back again, we're going to be here. Like, yo, we fucking did it, which yeah. was, like, a crazy feeling. It was, like, a euphoric, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It felt like, yo, like, this was, like, set in stone. It just felt like the right time. Yeah. And then I was out there, and they hit me up. They're, like, come to Atlanta. Welcome me with open arms. And that shit is real out there. Mm. Let me, let me like, it's, like, a hub for, like, everything a rapper could dream of. Like, it, everything is going on, and it's, and it's mm. so fast-paced. The lights, the people, the, the city. The culture is 
everything. You yeah. know what I mean? And Did you like, experience the trenches aspect of it too? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I rap what I what I do and how I live. Like, cause people would be capping and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't speak on everything, but like, is they live the real life. You know what I'm saying? They they don't talk about it just to talk about it. Yeah. You feel me? It comes from real life situations and. And that's how they could speak, and that's their voice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they they really about that shit as as, as much as I'm gonna go. That's crazy. That. That's a big point to art, though, man. Like you gotta take them life experiences and the way you live your life and how you come up, and you gotta <laughs> blossom that into a flower. Like this thing, like our whole come up, man. Like we have a lot to say. Like we have a lot to tell people. So yeah. I think that's big for anybody in the creative mind space that you gotta take all of that shit, like all your your come up, your life story. Whether it be good or bad, and you gotta like use that as fuel. I think that's that's very key. Me and him discuss that all the time. Like our upbringings is crazy, man. So yeah, which is which is big to touch on because I feel like no matter who you are, like once you open up, like like we were talking about on the other side of that, like someone's gonna relate. Oh yeah, and it doesn't need to be the whole world needs to relate to you. You know what I'm saying? You get yeah. thousand people to ride with you and be like, yo, that's our guy. Mm-hmm. Yo, we fuck with him, and. If you're real and authentic, it goes a, a long way. Yeah. A long, long way. Because clout and all that stuff is only temporary. Like, the real ones really last yeah. forever. You know what I'm saying? So. For sure. I'm big on cultivating a dedicated fan base rather than just riding the, the trends and the clout chain. You know what I mean? Because just like you said, that's very, like, it's very in the moment and it fades away fast. Short window. You notice what Short pe- window. You notice with people that are just chasing clout and shit, their names are in the headlines every week. But for a day, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. who's worried about what they're doing unless they're breaking up with their girl or fucking Shade dropping 50,000? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? All that yeah. other extra shit. And you only hear about it, and it sizzles away very fast. But people that are really doing cool shit, like, that lasts forever. You got people talking every day, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I agree with that, man, because at the end of the day, who's etching their name in those history books? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just that little petty bullshit, and yeah. it just gets some noise for the moment. But yeah. when it's all said and done, like, yeah. legends don't die. You no, remember, you'll remember Kobe yeah, forever. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, you know what I mean? But that connects with anybody. Like, because I take inspiration from that. Yeah. I don't, I'm horrible at basketball. Yeah. God off. <laughs> I'm horrible. Yeah, we were just hooping the other day. <laughs> but you respect not greatness. We're not going to talk about that. Sicko got a goofy jump. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It's the greatest Sometimes aspect, we go in, though. though. Sometimes we go in. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's just like, bro, like, he was so dedicated to where it's like, if you say you take your craft seriously, like, I feel like I'm insulting Kobe mm-hmm. if I'm not doing Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Let me ask you this. Do you think that you have, like, do you, do you think you have a lot of responsibility being that your father had his path and he didn't quite reach it? Like, do you think you have, a, you have a, uh, something to achieve or something to prove, you know, being, being his son? Yeah. I, I, As an artist? I, I think it dawned on me, like, a lot to be, like, I feel like it just felt like it needed to be done. And maybe it happened for a reason. Mm. Like maybe it's like Maybe my pops could be like Drawing some work for me Yeah Or like Cause he doesn't need to like Work for me Like whip me And like yeah. push what he got going on Cause he's got a lot of great ideas And I think it's like It's weird Cause I think it's never too late For anything But I feel like it really affected me Cause I was like It's a different aspect But the same mm. aspect That's and big though man What you're saying Because I think As you were able to take so much Inspiration from your father During your upbringing I think just like you said How like, the door is never closed completely. I, I feel as though he could take a lot of inspiration from, like, what you're doing, too. I love that, man. Yeah. Because, like, you... One never of the biggest things... Never too old things, to learn. Never too young nah, to teach. Never. Always a student. And yeah. you can always, always help somebody out, man. Like, yeah. everybody's always looking to pursue whatever it is that they're doing. All somebody might need is that just that little boost. That little boost of creativity. Maybe seeing something in somebody like yourself. Like it's, any, it's anything. Like, that's... Like, when I hear, like, certain records, and I like I like just music, just a vibe, too. Yeah. I like real stuff when I'm alone to listen to. But it could be literally anything. Like, listening to y'all podcasts inspire me. Going out and seeing, like, someone just, like, hustling, trying to do what they got to do, like, inspire mm. me. You know what I'm saying? From somebody failing, that inspired me. Because I know that moment, that feeling doesn't last forever. Oh, no. Nah. So even when you win, like, that, that doesn't last forever. And it's, like, it's a worse feeling when you accomplish something. And then, like, somebody sees you and it's like, yo, like, what, what you got going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's always, like, chasing, like, something bigger. Yeah. Something bigger. Mm. Got to keep the ball rolling. You have to. I, I, I just think it's, like, there's so many people that, like, inspire me that aren't even, like, the people that you see every day mm. or, like, listen to their music every day. Yeah. And I, I just think it's cool when you, like, might watch a YouTube video and it's, like, you could tell, like, that person is really that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So I feel like you got to keep the ball rolling. Mm. Stay you. And, like, it's you'll see it. Like, Mac Miller, like, his last project, right? Shout out, Mac. RIP. It wasn't doing crazy numbers until he died. Mm. And that's when people care the most about you. Mm, but then yeah. you listen to his art, and you're like, damn, like, I really see how he was feeling. Like, this, mm. is, this was his perspective. Like, and then you're like, damn, like, I wish I took that into consideration instead of just trying to, like, listen to what everybody else is listening to. And I feel like if you yeah. are listening to this, rock with what you rock with. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you wear, whatever you fuck with, do that to the max. Mm. I feel like that's, that's the... Who are your top artists? Ever, all time. Yeah, that's the hardest thing. I was scared you're going to ask that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had to ask that. Because I get so much inspiration from, like, it might just be how they are outside of music. Or are you saying just just for music? No, nah, like, Either way, who are your part. favorite artists? Like, who do you take inspiration from? Who Whose sound do you like to play off of? Who Who did you love growing up? Like, who do you think, if there was, like, a, a, a Mount Rushmore, it doesn't only have to be rap. It could just be all things music. Like, who, who are your top? Top four. Uh, how many is on Mount Rushmore? Five? Four. Four or five? Four? <laughs> Shit like that? Oh, we're not on. One of us is right. It's four or five. I, I think it's four. I think yeah. it's four. Um, oh, that's funny. Man, that... Uh, Biggie's up there. Yeah. Yeah. I just think how Biggie carried it was Notorious. Ah. That shit's so yeah. crazy. Yeah. And Biggie's just... Biggie. Yeah. And I like him because he was like... It's so easy to be like... Yo, I'm trying to slim down. I gotta look good for the camera. This or that. Biggie was like, "Yo, I'm a big motherfucker." Like, yeah, yeah. like he embraced, I, it. embraced he it. Embraced like, what he was. There was no filter to him. Yeah, you know what no I mean? filter. So I respect that. So we got Biggie. It's a cool one. M, no filter for sure. Yeah. J, gave you the blueprint to fucking. Hove? Yeah. Hove is up there Hove? too, man. Hove That's is three. definitely up there. You want number three, bro? Mm, and just who's who's been impacting me lately? Damn, that's so hard. Nipsey. Yeah? Nipsey. That's yeah. cool, man. I, I've been watching his documentaries and like... It's a marathon, bro. That, like, that's crazy. That itself is like... Yeah. That's big. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. That like, applies to your life in so many regards. Crazy. I want to get that tattooed on me. Marathon? Dude. Yeah, the two flags. Yeah, that's cool as shit. I think, I think it's crazy because the way he explained it when I was listening to him... Makes was so like, much sense. And, it, and, and I heard that... I didn't listen to Nipsey before he died. I didn't even know who he was. Either I'm not going to... Bro, either, gonna either did I. I yeah. knew some songs, but it wasn't like I was like... But no one really was. Yeah. Like, heavy, heavy. Like, you got yeah. some people in Cali, definitely. Oh, for sure. And, like, people who really rock mm. with him. But it wasn't, like, how it is now when you talk about Nip. Like, yo, I love yeah. him. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm one of them, too. Mm. You know what I'm Right saying? before I heard that concept of the marathon, I was, I was like, instant gratification. Like, I was yeah. trying to make a million tomorrow. Like, I was trying to build a business we all in started, a week or yeah, two. We, we all started, and then he's just yeah. like, yo, it's a fucking marathon. Like, it gives you it's so much small relief, steps, bro. like yeah. just climb yeah. brick by brick, bro. Rome wasn't built in a day. No, like you just have to have that consistency, and that like that clarity, like this is what I'm gonna do. And yeah. if I just build on this every day, if I keep this intensity, like long term, it's not gonna fail. You're gonna have to kill me before. Because no, listen, like you yeah. could have you could have talent, yeah, but ballers rise and fall. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to see the last part. Like yeah. it's cool, like. You could really get caught up in that. But once you tell yourself, you take yourself out, and you look at the big picture, you're like, yeah. this is a marathon. Yeah. So even if you fall, it's very easy to be like, I'm mm. done, man. Yeah. Or like, I'm done learning. Like, I don't care about this. Like, but once you really get that in your head, it's a marathon. Once you can make that commitment, like, this is it. No, yeah. This no is my life. Bust about it. I'm yeah. fucking going. Yeah, That's this it. is it. That's mm. that shit. I think once you really do realize that with your craft, though, like, it's very hard to let little shit hold you back. Because at the end of the day, all that shit then, all that really is to you is just bumps and bruises. Like, if you know that it's a marathon rather than a sprint, it got to be a lot easier for somebody like yourself to not let those little inconveniences with your career, your business, or in your life really, like, throw a wrench in the engine. Like, for somebody like you, it should be way easier to just keep the ball rolling then. Yeah, a I, lot of people don't see it that way. I could have gave up a fucking long time ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could have been, like, the first time somebody was like, that shit was ass. Mm -hmm. Could have fucking... A lot like, of people do do that. Could have been like done. Then I made a mixtape, and I was yeah. like, "Yeah." Is, is there it? such thing as uh, as like a writer's block? Like, do you experience a, a writer's block? Yeah, I like feel ruts like ruts and shit like that that you go through when you think too much. But then again, like if you look, you like, yeah, I got no stress doing this shit. Like, I don't. I just gotta talk about my life. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Like today, when I was rapping, I was like, no writer's block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when you really take yourself in that moment, you like, for me at least, like I'm not trying to fit nothing. Like, I don't want to fit an image, do this or that, fit a window or whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, 
If you listening, you listening. If you not, you not. Yeah. So listen. So to your that. palate's a lot more open then. Nothing. It doesn't seem like a lot, especially in the creative aspect, is holding you back. Knowing, no. knowing that. Bro. Let's talk about it, man. What's up with this mixtape, man? Bro, let's address the elephant in the room. What's elephant up with this mixtape? It's coming out my birthday. You know what I'm saying? July 10th. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about the name. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to discuss this here. I was thinking like. Go get a volume one because I was listening to the podcast. I was like, "Yo, this is that's cool." Because I was be thinking, really like, cool. "Yo, this is this is the time." I was gonna do like some <clears throat> biblical shit, and because my name means like leader, like it it stands for like in in Hebrew like Jesus, like Joshua, mm. Yeshua. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like the Savior. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I got shit to say that I, I just feel like was built up to be like now, like in this point in time in my life to be like, yeah, this is what the fuck it is. Like I feel like. When I come in the game, it's going to change a lot of shit. Yeah. And it might sound crazy now, but it's going to change a lot mm. of shit. But July 10th, my birthday, shit. I was going to wear my Dragon t-shirt. You know what uh. I'm saying? Year the Dragon, I spit that shit. Uh, yeah. Crazy. But so you, got, you, got any, uh, you got any records recorded already? Or, or what you, where are you in, in terms of the process? Uh, I got so many records completed. But when I was listening to your shit, I was like, yo, like, and when I was thinking about it, like dropping on my birthday, this, this and that, I was listening to an older producer, like every day, and like I was doing the auto tune shit, but now I really grew out of it, and it's like what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have my I have my beats, uh, and I have like the way I want to go with with my mixtape, and it's like, it's it's everything. It's just like. You have man. a vision for it, like you're seeing yeah. the vision for it. It's, Definitely seen a vision for it. It's basically, that's the best way to put it. Yeah. Where do you draw the most of that inspiration from? Like, like just from me. Like, I, I feel like, well, from, like, life it, itself, but from how I've been feeling, like, from, like, what occurred in my life, I feel yeah. like that's the only thing I could really talk about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I also like to do, like, Kanye would be, like, talking about, like, just a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah. some of these problems that, like, a lot of people could go through. Mm. But I feel like I just want to talk about my life. Mm. You know what I mean? I want to be like, this is who I am. It's going to be different this time, huh? Yeah, yeah way so, different. Something that we never heard. Yeah. yeah that, even for me to make. Yeah. Like, like when I was, I've been writing, like, it's been hard to write. Mm -hmm. Not because it's hard to write, because it's hard to say certain shit that mm -hmm. I want to say. Some shit that I'd be blocking, you know what I'm I saying? I hear you. I yeah, hear you. We, got, we got to learn how to be vulnerable, man. Yeah, I think that's the big, I read somewhere where it was like, there was two leaders. And the leader who was like, never was vulnerable. People were like, yo, he's like superhuman, this or that. And they responded kind of like they weren't able to be open with each other to, like, get the job done, get the mission mm -hmm. done. Yeah. And you had a leader who was open, and it was tough for him to be open, been open. And then people were like, yo, like, they drew to that. Yeah. And they respected him more. You know what I'm saying? They, like, had a different vision and, like, saw him in a different perspective that they haven't seen him before. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like for me, like, even looking in the mirror, I got to be like, yo, if I'm going to stand for something, like, do this shit. Show them the real. Yeah, show yeah, them the real. Right? Show them the real five. So Yeah. That's one thing that's cool about both of our outlets and platforms is that now we now have an opportunity to do that. Like, a lot of the people that we know, especially a lot of the people fucking with what we both got going on, they don't really ever get to see those sides of us, man. So I think when people do get to see it, it's like a whole new breath of, like, air for, like, a relationship or whatever it is. It's just people see another side of you. That you don't ever, like, it's hard for you to just put it on the table in person, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's crazy, because it's like, I don't want to let people know my weaknesses, this or that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, too, like, so many be people could benefit off that. That's true. Like, That's I, true. I, it's I very like, relatable. Everybody yeah. has weaknesses. And yeah, everybody, everybody has yeah. ugly sides to themselves. And everybody has problems, man. Yeah. We all do. We were talking about this in the first episode, like, your problems aren't unique. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, Absolutely. I heard that. I was, I was like, yeah, that's a fact. And yeah. a lot of people can pull inspiration from how you handle shit, whether it just be in life or in the mm -hmm. rap game. There's a lot Absolutely, of people around yeah. here that can take a lot of inspiration from what you're doing. So it's better, in my opinion, to put shit like that out there and like put people on and give other people flowers and like let them grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they can learn a lot from somebody like you and what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, think I think that's big. And I think like that's what we're here for to learn from everybody. But I yeah, think it's sure. fucking time. Like. I want to drop fucking bombs. I mm. want to fucking let it be known, like, this You're is what I do. You're coming crazy. Yeah, I yeah. have to. Yeah. It's just been time. Like, yeah. that's why I feel like, shit, it's my year that mm. that things are going to change or, like, yeah, get that ball rolling. That's like, what's been clicking for us big, too, <clears throat> recently, man. Like, we've had this passion and this idea and this spark for, like, a year and some change now. But, like, shit's really starting to feel real. I think once you have that, 
it's hard, like, at least for me, it's hard to put that shit in the back. Like, that's all I'm thinking about all day. It's just, like, my next move, my next move. I'm so focused on that right now. You know what I mean? How'd that shit feel when it was, like, people was hitting you up and being, like, like, took time out of the day to be like, yo, I fuck with it. It felt really good, man. But at the same time, it's, like, we kind of knew that was coming. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we knew, we knew, like, we had something. We have something here. You know what I mean? We just keep building it. It's inevitable that this Mm. will be something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was a breath of fresh air for sure, but you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Cause for however many people loved it, it was a humble way of putting it from. Yeah, but yeah it was a humble way. It's you, see, you gotta take it with a you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, it was. That's a fact. Yeah, it's was, a marathon. Of, like yeah. we were talking about, man, it's not a sprint. So one episode isn't doing nobody shit. That's just a taste, man. Very true. Way how to be the balance? There, how are we bro. gonna be in a hundred yeah. episodes, two hundred episodes, three hundred? <laughs> one episode don't mean shit to me. So like having one out there and like. People get a vibe for that. That's literally just to get the ball rolling. The feedback was important to me as well, but, like, the views and the clicks and shit, I don't really care about none of that. That was just – it was a breath of fresh air. I mean, it it at least showed us where we were. and Mm, like Very much so. Yeah. And, like, perspective to, like, the work we've been putting in, it gave us a nice boost of motivation, but it's right back to the drawing board. One's nothing to me. So one podcast is nothing. Got to keep that momentum, man. Keep the snowball going because, you know, you let shit get dry – you got that, that little flame in your hand, mm. man. You can't let it go out. You got to you gotta use it while that, it's hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, to zoom out a little bit, bro, uh, what do you think? Like, how do you see your overall brand? Like, when it's all said and done, like, what's the big vision for Mr. Five? Like, what does it look like at the end? You know what I mean? I can't let the – I can't – they're going to see when it unfolds. But I don't think there's really, like, a like an end. I feel like there's something – I have a goal that mm. I want to do now. Mm-hmm. But – then that's going to lead to something bigger. And that's going to lead to something bigger. And then that's going to lead to something bigger. Yeah. And before I die, I was already going to have another plan we'll to do something. Where, yeah, right. You know we'll what I'm saying? Like, right, I, yeah. I, I, that's what I want. I love that. To I be love that my, for sure. Because I, I think it's like, that's what fucked me up. When I was younger, I was like, boom, there's the destination. Uh, yeah. And like, damn. I, boom, you get to the destination, you're like, what's next? Or you living your whole life being like, it's got to be just like this. Mm, this is yeah. what I thought about. Like, it's got to be like this. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, shit, like, that takes the fun part of life. Like, if I yeah. knew everything was going to happen, yeah, I'm like, why are you even stressing? Like, yo, mm. I rap, this is what I do. I have a little plan, and plans never plan out exactly how it's going to go. Yeah. And I think that's where it took me to meet some of the coolest people I ever met. I didn't go to college. I was about to go doing this and all that. And... I was like, damn, did I make the wrong choice? Mm. But it's only the wrong choice if I tell myself it's the wrong choice. Right. I think I met, like, so many great people and so many people that just have a vision. And a lot of people that accomplished that, they gave me motivation. But I don't have, I don't have a destination. But I do have, do have goals that yeah. I know what I want to bring yeah. to fruition, you know? The destination is very scary to me, man, because then what's after that? What's after your destination? You know what I mean? I think it's all about that... Uh, that uh, fucking what's the word for it? It's not the destination, man. It's like the journey. It's the, the journey. journey yeah, what I'm looking for. It's like we were just talking about that earlier, man. It's like you're gonna look back one day, like when you're doing very well for yourself and you're very successful, happiness, whatever. You're gonna look back on the days where you were doing this shit, man. Like when nobody gave a fuck that's, about you. That's it, right there. And nobody yeah. gave a fuck about what you were doing. That's the shit. cool thing, though. That you'll always want that back when you make it to the end. So like that's I've been I've at least been trying to apply that to my own life a lot. Was just like. Taking these small wins and all these days, like, day by day, because, I mean, shit, man, this is all we're going to want back at some point in our life. Yeah, Mm. and it's crazy. It's really crazy to think about that, and especially for me to look back and be like, damn, like, that's why you shouldn't give a fuck. Like, if I look back in, like, the four years Mm. that, like, I really, like, started putting out music, it's like, damn, like, you're never going to get this time back. Mm. Like, everybody know that, but, like, some people really just go through life and, like, try to avoid it. Yeah, yeah. Instead of being like, yo, time is ticking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I think destination is a scary place. And I think a lot of the best things come unexpectedly. And, like, some of them might not have been what you foresee in your future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So many, like, good relationships I made. So many good stories. You know, I'm going to tell my family mm-hmm. when I have just a Just a lot of. Good shit came they, unexpectedly. They come out of nowhere, man. You can't plan for that shit. Like, all these, like, important people and important moments that you, you meet and you hit in your life, all of them shit, at least for me, it's it's all been 
the definition of luck when you when preparation what is it when preparation meets Come on, Darren. Come you on, you're the quote He's guy. looking at whoa, 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 whoa. Guy. What are you talking about, man? Like when, uh, prepar- luck. Uh, when preparation meets hard work and determination or something like that. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> is that <laughs> Damn, it? Damn, that yeah. sucks that we're going to draw a blank there. I think I said it. Oh. <laughs> I think that might be it. So in terms of, like, your brand, though, man, like, in today's day and age in 2022, it's, like, it's all about, at least yeah. in terms of, like, building a following, getting that money and all that. It's all in terms of, like, a brand. What are big outlets for you rather than just putting out music that you really want to utilize in the future? I don't want to say because I want to really, it's going to be something that comes with this project, but I think the aspect of like the music videos. Ooh, mm, okay. That's going to be cool. Like, I think it's very easy to look at a music video and be like, we got to make a music video mm. like that. Like I have forms and shit like that. I'm not saying yeah. I won't have forms in my video <laughs> or this or that, but I think it's really cool to be like, yo, like we can make this. It's a, Blank canvas, mm-hmm. we can make this whatever. And I think I want to throw, like, comedy, little short films of, like, good, bad. Yeah. I just think it's, I think you could do so much with music and entertainment to where it's, like, that. That's its own thing. Like, the, the, it's the videos are their own outlet. thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Own, yeah, it's yeah. its own thing. That's and cool. I, and I think I want, like, some of my people in there. Like, you know how Adam Sandler be having all his friends? Yeah. Like, in his shit? Yeah, yeah. for sure. I think, I think, like, I got a lot of cool-ass friends who really got their own shit, too, to be, yeah. like, they could blossom and do their own shit too. Yeah, very cool. It's important, and I think that's what I really like doing too. Like I, I found out I was in the Bay Area, and one one of the kids I was friends with was shooting videos, like doing like little comedies, mm-hmm. or doing like serious shit. And I was like, that shit looks fun. Yeah, like it kind of it was like something fun instead of just being like all this pressure, being like you gotta be like this or do this. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, bro, there's so much you could do with that, and especially from a song like. I don't think I've really seen that a lot. Like, it's like, all right, you do a song, it's like forms and all this shit. But if you can make, like, a short story and really, like, and I want to write that shit. I feel like I could be good at writing scripts and, like, good at making characters. Like the director hat on you out there with yeah. that. Yeah, I, I think that shit would be fun. And I want to be. Action. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. And that's <laughs> really shit. It's such a new creative outlet, too, man. One thing I always liked about music videos is it seemed like, the production behind them and like what people have planned for a lot of music videos, it almost didn't need to correlate to what the song actually meant at all. Like a lot of people get very wild today with like music videos and like what they want to do. And I think they just, it's like an outlet for an artist to have a lot more fun and to be a lot more free. That's kind of how I look at the whole video thing. And I think it's crazy. I'll bring this a reference because this is just what I look at when I see shit. You got so, you go on Netflix, you go anywhere, you got so many different kinds of a movies, you know what I'm saying? Content. Like, every type of comedy, this or that, for everybody. But one person I fuck with is Mike Myers. The dude who be doing, like, uh, Austin Powers, this or that. You know Austin the Powers? The director or the actor? The actor. But he writes his own, he writes his own stuff, too. Oh, like, really? Ooh. But I like him because he be playing, like, all the characters, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. like, he not know Brad Pitt, this or that. Mm-hmm. But he found his niche and, like, mm. he... I feel like he created like a whole new off that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I, I really fuck with him. He, that's he, cool. He, he yeah, did really it uniquely. Cool. Yeah. I think that's a big thing or a big part of the whole creative process as well as finding a way to be different. That guy obviously did. That's one big struggle for us. And I'm sure it got to be a struggle for you too is like, in what ways, even if you don't want to give too much to the people, like what are, what's one way that you can be different than the rest? I feel like I, that's it. Like I don't try to be different. Like, Try to be yourself, right? Like, I already was born to stand out. Mm. Like, I feel like everybody was. I feel like you lose that, like, magic of being you when Mm. you, like, try to be, like, everybody else. You know what I mean? I get that. So I feel like everybody was meant to stand out. Being different lies in being yourself, I think, because everybody is different at the end of the day. Everybody got different tastes. No one else could be Cinco. Only Cinco could be Cinco. Same with both of y'all. Yeah, for sure, Like. No one else could be LeBron. Only no, LeBron could be him. Only LeBron could be LeBron. So yeah. just being yourself and doing you. I play basketball you. like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest way to be different, though, man. Like, yeah. I, I think that that's big, man, It's just being yourself. It's probably the coolest way to be di- Not even the coolest way. That's the best way to be different because everybody's different. And you know how to be you better than anybody else. So you know what it takes to do what you want to do, what makes you happy, what wakes you up in the morning. I think it's, like... But I think it just makes life so much better. When you, like, wake up and you, like, don't have to live by a certain script. Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. freedom there. It's a big freedom. It's a like, big weight off your back. Like, who you, like, who you got to please, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if you had to, like, wake up, I'd be thinking about this sometimes and just be like, what do I really like to do? 
Like, how would I just live life? Like, if mm. I just didn't care, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and that, not saying that I don't care about anything, but, like, don't care about the things that I can't control. Yeah, that's big. <clears throat> and don't care about the things holding you back, man. You got to sever that shit. Like they will just continue to hold yeah, you back. And it's serious, but it's not that serious. I, I try to look mm. at, like, there's, there's serious things that I take serious. But I, that doesn't mean, like, if I'm, if I'm doing some funny shit or, yeah. like, shooting music videos like this, like, that I don't take this shit mm. serious. You know what I'm saying? But I think that life's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, like, enjoyable. Yeah. You don't want to be miserable. And I feel like if you're going that way about your dream, like, I personally feel like it's not, it's not the right way. Mm. If you're miserable doing it. For like, sure. Who would want to do that? Yo, what else do you dabble in, man? I know you've been doing MMA re- recently, right? You've been training with, uh, you've been training with uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Rick Rogers, right? So I had to touch on that, man. Shout out, shout out, Rick. Rick Rogers, really? Yeah, yeah, that's like my first guy, man. That's, that's who wild. Yeah, that's like yeah. when we were young, Uncle Rick. Yeah, man. That's crazy. That's the homie right there, genius fighter. And shout out Reese. Don't put me on black. I ain't, I ain't a fighter like that. I don't want my thinking like, yo, we be doing that, man. Yeah, right. that. Do a little bit, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Do a little, a little bit. bit. Those side passions keep you creative, though, man. Is there anything else besides MMA that, like, you fuck with in the day-to-day? Like, shit that brings you happiness, shit that you might not show to the world too often? I just think my family, like... Family my, time? My friends, and this shit, like, I don't know. I fuck with... I just like a, I like a lot of shit. Like, my, my main shit is music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Creatively, like, movies, this or that. Like, when I'm watching a show or a movie, I be like... Damn, like, I kind of put myself in, like, a director's point of view. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing when I listen to music. I'm, like, not just listening to it for the words, but I'm thinking, like, yo, listen to what this person's really saying. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think MMA's cool because I look at it, like, it's so much deeper than what it looks like on the outside. Mm-hmm. Like, you could be, like, you should have hit him with this. Mm-hmm. You did this. <laughs> and, like, now when I look at a fight, I'm looking at, like, everything. Like, I'm looking at his other foot, the way he's kicking. Mm-hmm. Or, like, I'm looking, like, at so many different variables. And it's always deeper. Like, you could be a decent fighter, but to be at that level, yeah. it gives, like, a... Like, you want to take your hat off to these people mm-hmm. who really, like... That's why you see people at the top of the game give so much respect to somebody at the top of their game, yeah. even if it's a different crap. Because it, it really takes, like, your whole life sacrifice mm-hmm. to really be great at that. And then once you're great at that, it seems like you get the money, like Shaq. Great at basketball, does all this shit, has all this money. Then he's a reliable source for other businesses. Like, you want yeah. Shaq on your commercial. Mm, for sure, man. But you want Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just. Yeah, it, you walk into, uh, I think it's Office Max. Is, is it that, Office Max? You know what I'm talking about? Like, the, oh, Staples. Not nah, Staples. Staples. You I go thought Staples in the big ass Shaq, Shaq cutout, right? That shit's it's pretty funny. cool. And, and, I, and I could just say that. I know that. Like, every, yeah. anybody who's with Shaq. Also, the general. You know that insurance company? That's funny as <laughs> shit. Shaq's with that job, I think too. The, the funniest shit. Is when his big ass is getting in that tiny ass car. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's not. That can't be real. Comedy. <laughs> that can't be real. I'm just gonna throw that. Bro, he's got a size 24. Wow. Size foot. Wow. One day he'll be size on this podcast. 24? Trust. Shaggy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he's a cool ass dude, man. You gotta draw inspiration from people like that because they're out there doing this shit that you want to do. You know what I mean, bro? And Shrek, bro. Shaq. I almost said Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq, bro. Like, it's crazy because I was watching his one shit and he was like. I think the reason why I wasn't good at free throws and shooting was, like, an important thing. Like, then I would be unstoppable. Like, he said that humbled me. Like, you can't be the, like, at everything. And especially when you want to be great at everything, it's like, there's certain things that God was like, yeah, bro, like. Not this one. You, you, not this one. <laughs> you, you can't have can't it all. Can't do it like, all, brother. And I think it's cool that Shaq looks at it that way instead of being like, fuck, like, yeah. why you ain't making me like, you know what I'm saying? I. I just think it's funny because I think like one thing too. I could be wrong. He was like, I couldn't dunk or like I didn't want. I didn't want to. Nah, I could dunk or like I didn't want to dunk or some shit. And his dad was like, dunk the fucking ball. <laughs> and then after that, he was just like yamming yeah, and shit. But he wanted to be like somebody else. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like everybody has that to where it's like unique shit to them. It's like I wanted to be like I was rapping like him. Yeah. Lyrical napkin is shaking you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, draw inspiration from this or that. And then you fucking find what's cool about your sound. Like, oh, shit. It's important to draw inspiration for sure. You just got to stay unique. Yeah. You got to, like, take in all these things and find a way in which they apply to you and your craft, like what you're trying to do. Like, I hate that. I hate when I'm, like, watching somebody who's literally, like, 
trying to just exactly be like this person. And you could tell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? From like, even like when the new wave came out, where it's like Lil Uzi coming out, this or that. I think Lil Wayne started off for like the tattoos, the piercings, like the way he dressed. And I think that's a cool like inspiration thing. But I think you need to pay homage to the people like you at least got your shit from. You know what I'm saying? Like got your little swag from yeah. this or that. It seems I, like in today's day and age of hip hop, like not a lot of people show love though. I think it's I think it's like anything else. I think like once you get so big, it, it could be like a thing where you're like, nah, I'm him now. Or I could be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like there's people who, who show love, but then there's people who like kinda forget when they were a kid and being like, yo, these people really paved the way yeah. for me or I do this. And a lot of people get too big in themselves, too. Like, they think they're the shit. You know what I mean? So it's hard to pay homage to people when you feel as though you're the one that did it all. You know what I mean? You're the one. It's nobody but me. Nobody helped me. You know what I mean? A lot of people say that. I mean, everybody says that. I think, like, I hear every rap song, and that's, like, at least one line and everything. And, like, I think it's, like, I don't know. I, I think that's the biggest bullshit. Like, even, like, people who listen to my music, like, it's not just me. But, like, someone telling me, yo, that shit was, like, good, like, keep working at that. Like, it's never it's never just you. Mm. And I think it's cool once you realize that because I think it's it's big to be, like, draw inspiration and learn from somebody else. Yeah. Like, I'm learning from y'all as we talking. Or, like, if I'm learning from music, mm. this or that, I, I just think I think everybody plays a part in everything we do. Yeah. Like I stressed uh, importantly on the first episode was that one of my biggest reasons for starting this whole fucking thing was for that. Like, to hear other people's stories see like what gets their gears turning like what makes you happy in life and then trying to apply that to myself like just taking in all of this information and just seeing how it applies to your life so i know it's not only me doing this people i meet every day and people i talk to every day have helped me along the line oh, yeah. i'm big on stressing that because i think that's the that's the most important way to grow you could i think you learn more from other people than you'll ever learn from just listening to yourself and I think, I don't know, like, I think people, like, want to be like, no one helped me. Yeah. Like, I feel like... Sounds cool. It's weird. Like, some people want to be, like, a, a toxic person or, like, like an... I don't know. It, it's just, like, it's always been this way. But I don't know. I feel like it's, it's awesome to show love. And I think it's, like, you live a better life mm. if you're, like, a more loving person to be like, yo, yeah. bro, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's cool what you're doing, too. Like, I'm not in competition with no one in music. Mm. I want to be... Number one, me. Like, I just yeah. want to do me. Like, mm. and it's it's like a, it's not just black or white. Like, there's a gray area. I think it's like, everybody, like, wants to make that talk. But, like, when you think it about it differently, like, yo, I want to be number one, y you would switch your flow up kind of. Yeah. Maybe not switch your flow up. Like, switch the way you go about it. Mm. You're like, yo, I just want to have fun and do me yeah. to the best of my ability. Pull as much shit as I could get out of mm. me. Like, it just so happens to be that you turn out to be number one. And then other people looking at it be like, now we got to compare with his shit. Yeah. But I, I feel like the biggest people got their own strategy to know what works for them and, like, mm. and like block out all the noise to, to be that, that big and that good. That's pretty cool, man. Um, why don't you uh, touch on the one thing, the one thing you were talking to me about the other day. What's that? You have it written down here. It was like... Uh, for you, like with your relationships, go ahead. You, was, it's your question. I was, so. uh, I was gonna say, is it, is it? You think it's better? Are you ready for this one? Yeah, you, I'm think, ready it's, you think it's better to be in a relationship on your way to the top, like for you, on like on your journey. You think it's better <laughs> to be in a relationship, or you think it's better to just stay single and have no distractions, or you think it's better to have somebody like holding you down and like keeping you solid? What do you think? I think it it, it work. It's a different equation for everybody. I think. Sure. I think don't force it. But I feel like your relationship shouldn't, like, I should pick the right person. Yeah. Because I allow you access to my life. Mm. So my relationships just mean I picked bad and I was going off wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I feel like I learned from certain relationships. But I also feel like I realized what I don't want in a relationship. For sure. Oh, okay. Like, music sounds really good. We, like, like even, like, when Lucid Dreams come out, like, hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you really feel that. A lot of inspiration that but, comes from that shit, too. I, I don't think you should. A lot should, of creativity. I don't hear think, it a lot. But I don't think that's like a, like, I like the 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 good shit. That shit, like, yo, that's my grind and she helped me better. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I make her better. That other shit, y'all can have if y'all want that. Mm -hmm. If y'all the most toxic relationship, like, 
No keep sir, doing what you do. Yeah. yeah. I do not. Yeah. I repeat, do not. Keep away from that. that, right? And I think I look for something different in a chick that's just like, I just know what I feel like I want. Let them know what you what you liking you for, know what for the ladies. Slim what are you looking dick, for? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big old. Nah, I'm hey. I, yo, like if if I know you watching the Kardashians and you want to be like the Kardashians, do not. You never. Don't step, I agree. Nah. Don't step to me. Yeah. Do mm. not. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And just how you is. You know what I'm saying? You love it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You love your family. It's just like the little shit you do. You know, like if you like really like you love being out there, go be out there. You know what I'm saying? Like you a hoe, go be a hoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Somebody gonna have love for you, you know what I'm saying? I still yeah. got love for the hoes, but yeah. I'm just saying. Gotta love the hoes a little yeah. bit, man. No, you, yeah, I do. Gotta I, show I respect the game. Yeah, 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 I respect the sure. game. Respect the hustle. Ladies is the biggest pimps, and they and they just go and keep being the biggest pimps. And you gotta recognize the game, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, it's bad because some toxic shit, you know what I'm saying? Some some of it's fun, but it's a, ah. it's it's like fire. Like you gotta. It, you you gonna get burnt. Yeah, you like, gotta play with You gotta fire. know what's going on. Like it's not a good thing for mm-hmm. both of y'all. Yeah. But sometimes you get so deep in that where it's just like y'all don't give a fuck. And it's just like all oh, fucked up. Mm. Yeah. You just all <laughs> fucked. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like it's all up for it's all up to the individual. I do think a lot of people find inspiration in things like that though. Like for me it helped getting the ball rolling, but you you look at it like the future is like of the world. Yeah. Number one, <laughs> dropping albums uh, on you know top what what of saying? everybody. Shout out, future he just a different breed, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like, I don't know, it's 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 a weird thing. Like, I do not want to portray, like, this some, like, fantasy, like, everything going to be smooth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But there's a difference between, like, real just toxic shit, because y'all like being toxic. Yeah. And to being like, yo, I got your best interest. And sometimes, like, if you, if you're together with a long time with some person, like, you might slip up, she might slip up. But, like, I think it's way... Way different. And you got some people, you just know what to expect, bro. Like, you know what to expect. And it's, like, the people you get associated with, you know what I'm saying? You doing shit, you getting lit, you fucking certain bitches. You got to just know what's coming, you know what I'm saying? But know if, you know you, if you know you fucking a hoe, yeah. you fine with it? Yeah. Keep fucking, keep fucking hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem yeah. with it. You do what you want to do. I mean, do, everybody you know know, understands their own situation. If that's cool and that's how you want to live your life and whatever, that's cool. But it, it really just depends on, like, what works best for you. Like, fuck it. You want to live your life. I'm not going to change it's, how you live your life. It's weird because, like, then I also think that's a different way of working. Like, some people, like, it looks like it works for their benefit. Yeah. Uh, record sales. Oh, yeah. All this shit is good. Yeah. But, like, your, yourself and how you live in mm-hmm. your life and shit like that is, like... People value off pain. Like, we're going to be like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, we don't really care how you're feeling. It's good because now we could feel a little bit better because we know that you feel how we feel. Yeah. But it's not like you're going to be there for these people. Like, these rappers is dying. These singers have been dying. Drugs, all this shit. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing new. It's going to yeah. keep going on in the world, but... It looks good for the people, but you also got to take into consideration how that person, like, is actually feeling. Like, are they good? They happy? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, a lot of people don't look at, like, Somebody like Future, since we mentioned him, like, how, like, is his actual, like, life? Like, what's he actually like? How's he doing? You know what I mean? It looks good. It looks good for the songs. It looks good for the media and all that. But, like, how is he doing? You know what I mean? A lot of people don't consider that. Like, because people don't really care. Like, they do. But, like, if they care, it would be a different story. Like, that's who, that's who Future, like, gave out to the world, though. So, that's how I'm going to yeah. see Future. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I think Future's cool being Future. Mm. So, like, that's why I said whoever you are, just keep doing what you feel like you fuck with. But if you don't fuck with something, you don't got to act mm. like you think it's cool to fuck with something. But I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? People be having fun. Hey, man. I've it's had been some real. Fun. I think, that's big. I gotta think have it, fun. You got to have fun. You know what I'm saying? And, like. Different shit work for different people. Different strokes for different folks. That's just that's just how that goes. That's true, and it really just depends. It's up to the individual. Like I was saying before, like it's you. Nobody knows your life better than you. You got to figure that out. Like your paths, your steps in life. You got to decide for yourself whether you're making the right decisions or not. I mean, how do y'all how do y'all feel about it? Y'all chasing dreams. Y'all asking me, I'm gonna return the favor. How y'all how y'all feel about Kevin's a dog, man. I'm going to tell you no different. I know Kevin's a dog. Kevin is a dog. Um, I mean, me and him probably have two different takes on it because he's in a pretty long, like, well relationship. And I think using being, like, 
the time you have and the creative ability you have and just the passion that you could put into anything while you're single and like just the at that when you in my opinion when you're single everything you're doing is for yourself you're not dedicating really anything to anybody else besides your family which are the most important people to you and your friends so when you have more time and you're more driven and you could just get more shit done throughout your day-to-day life I just think it works better. At least it does for me. Like all this shit, I wouldn't have time for none of this. So how you how you feel about them hoes? What you? Oh man, you gotta you gotta play it play by play. Cause what you mean play by play? Play by play. (laughs) (laughs) Certain days you against the rope, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, man. You gotta like I said, play by play. What I mean by that is you gotta handle your life, your finances, your happiness, your health, your ability. On the forefront before anything else. That's I'm big on that. So, in terms of at least for me, what I've realized when I'm focusing too much energy and like passion and time on women, my creativity suffers. My not necessarily athleticism, but my health in terms of like gym all Facts. that suffers. Facts. And uh, for me, those are like the two biggest things that help me do what I do today. Is like staying healthy. In terms of like body and mind, like keeping your mind clear, you're not in that drama, like you're not in that toxic shit because that's not good for me. I can't perform well under that. Keeping a clear mind, your body healthy, like I said, and uh, staying dedicated to what it is you're doing. I think a lot of shit could become a discra- or a distraction for a lot of people. And I already have my distractions. I don't need extra distractions. You hear that, ladies? But like I said, play by play though. Business so. is business. You know what I'm saying? We still got love for the hoes. It's Ke- certain days. But Kevin let y'all know, it's not no distractions. You better be grinding. Don't fuck with the grind. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's, That's what a fact. Is. You and, read it perfectly. And we got we to gotta swing it to DT because what is DT? Because this is, I'm not in no relationship <coughs> right now. I'm not tied down. Yeah. So from the opposite side, um, I think it's cool to be in a relationship, man, for me because I'm an overindulger. You know what I mean? I'm very, I could be gluttonous at times, you know? I don't. Describe that word for people who don't know what gluttonous <laughs> is. I know what it means just for people who don't know. Well, what I mean by this is like, for example, I, uh, <laughs> look at him. Gluttonous. No, no, no. So, uh, I have made a goal for myself and, um, I'm not drinking or smoking the whole year. Yeah. yeah. We got to clap for that. Yeah. That. And, uh, but the reason for that is, is because yeah. like <laughs> when I do indulge and when I do have fun, I don't really know how to stop. I don't really know how to like, when, when is my point? You know what I mean? Yeah. So when it comes to anything pleasurable that I like, that I enjoy, I have to really limit myself. I have to really um, kind of create that separation between me and those those vices. Could I chime in? Yeah. Well put. You know what I learned yesterday, though? What's that? And I, I struggle with this. I think everybody does. Excuse me. But I was talking to this guy yesterday. I'm getting my tires done. Know the owner. And we just talking. You know what I'm saying? How's everything? How's life? And he's reading this book, you know what I'm saying, on, like, dopamine in your brain, right? Mm. So, like, he's trying to quit smoking and shit like that. But there's, in the back of your brain, pleasure and pain, uh, pain are connected to, like, the same, same thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you want to keep them as balanced as you can. Like, too much pain and pleasure down here isn't good. And too much pleasure and, and whatever I'm trying to say. You know what I'm, yeah, trying, to say? I'm trying to say? It's, like, you want to keep them balanced out. And that might not mean start drinking and smoking, but, like, reward yourself for, like, small battles. Whatever that might be, like, being like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I learned to be, like, hard on myself, but not so hard on myself. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I agree. But, but keep going. I'm sorry. I, c- I cut you off. I yeah, no, that was, that was basically, like, the idea behind it, though, is just uh, to, uh, to enjoy life naturally, you know, to, to find, like, the little pleasures just by living. I don't need any substance yeah. because all of the chemicals that are that are being um, called upon when we take these substances mm-hmm. are already there. You know what I mean? They're Fact. already they're already Fact. within our brain. So I, I stopped smoking too. I just want to say that. And that's um, ideal. Uh oh, big, big, yeah. it's big. Yeah, yeah, good for you, Sam. I'm slowing down on. You know what I'm saying? I felt like it was a good moment. I, yeah. I drink, and I know, and I know you have. Congratulations to that too. That that shit is tough, but I think these you're are right. big days. I was watching a movie one time, and the guy was like, she come in, she's all, she's drinking, she's like, and this guy's a big business guy, he's getting shit done, yeah. you know what I'm saying, on front line, just getting shit done. Yeah. She's like, don't you have no fun? She's like, you're not getting high, you're not drinking, he's like, I'm high on life. For and sure. like, those two weeks after, I didn't touch, t- 
touch nothing. I wasn't yeah. smoking, mm. wasn't drinking. Because, like, mm. a lot of things I'm in, implementing in my life is, like, that's, like, that's like some of the biggest shit. Like, I stopped recording. Like, I'm not smoking. I'm not drinking when I'm recording. Yeah. And I, I feel like that's true. I was, like, because back in the day, it sounds crazy when you were a kid. But drinking and smoking is like you're supposed to feel all emotions. Like people want like an instant thing of being like, I don't like feeling sad. I'm gonna be happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, which is crazy. And I found out myself like, even like back in the day when we young, like smoking and shit. Like, it's cool like here and then. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you're smoking, that's what you fuck with. Again, different strokes for different folks. But I just feel like it's cool to like, I've been watching the podcast and shit like that. Test out something new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and I think it's. But I had good results of of being real clear minded, mm-hmm. and and being able to process my yeah. thoughts and go through what I gotta go through. And I think I'm gonna take a sip of this, but I but yeah, to to create the connection though, like I think women are also a vice. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So like being in a relationship, I think it's it's good that you're just you're with one person yeah. that you really love, and it's like just just forward. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're not distracted by so many things. You're just, you're not being called upon by all these different women, all these people seducing you yeah. into all this. I'm, I'm crazy getting shit. sick of it. Yeah, specifically, <laughs> I'm getting sick of it. Specifically, yeah, though, right. like that's yeah. what I mean, though. Like it's like you said, it's a vice. It is. It comes like it you is. gotta dedicate time. You gotta dedicate happiness. You gotta dedicate everything to a new thing. I already have a lot of those things. You know what I mean? I already have a whole lot of fucking things that I'm dedicating time, energy, and love and passion and all that shit into. The Further you go down that line, you just keep adding things, and it only gets worse for you. In Yo, terms of time, you only got 24 I, hours a day. I heard, uh, I was watching this video about of Elon Musk today, and he was saying this shit. He was saying, um, it's, it's foolish that we spend so much of our time thinking about sex, right? Mm. And this sex isn't even with the intention of procreation. Like, it's not with the intention of, like, having, having a child kids. or yeah. bearing children. Yeah. It's just for pleasure. Like, think about how often... People are thinking about having sex. That's crazy. It's a lot of, lot of seconds, hours. It's crazy. <laughs> you might you might have donated a few years to that shit in the whole. Could have had a lot of kids. You know what I mean? In the long term, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Like you're you're not like imagine if like you ever heard Nikola Tesla? He was yes. a virgin. Isn't that crazy? No. I think that's no, no. crazy. It might have been might have been could have been a problem. But look that, what he did. I, I know he did a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's he, like, yo, you nigga, think those two things been, are parallel? He could have been such a different person. He could have been out getting ass. He's like, who needs to say the word? Right. Who needs <laughs> to, I need to get the, some boo. The AC you know current, what I mean? bro. What the uh, fuck is the AC? He just gets some but, wild but he, he never, He never had sex, though? Oh not once God. in his life? I, it was, I, heard he was a, uh, I heard he was a virgin. But his mind Rich got a move different. I also heard. No, he was He was poor. Nicola no, Tesla. until until once he, or is that after nah, he died? He died, he died. And then he had the estate and all that money and shit. Same that thing with sense. Sir Isaac Newton. I think he was I, a complete virgin. I think the guy who again different strokes for different folks. Yeah. How do you I, know though? Like I, I no, not you, not you. This but is like, true. This how that do is a people good know? Like how you really know if Sir Isaac Nicholas Newton Tesla never could have been busting down? Like, like who's I'm, around watching? The little, who's around just watching the, the little, you? Who, I don't know. You know man. what I mean? It's a different time, bro. It's a different. I no, guess I don't know. I have no idea. But he wrote about I don't know. But it's a cool. It could be a fact, and it's it's cool to think about because. Again, like, there's a lot of scientific shit to, like, how much energy is in one fucking nut. You feel me? Think about how much like, goes into it. in one time. Like, yeah. how much? There's so much. That's like. You could be, you could be building an empire, but yeah. 80% of your pie chart no. is focused mm-hmm. on and, getting and, ass. And with animals, too, when they go out, uh, yo, start watching before you go to sleep. Nat Geo, son. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I be lit. Bro, like, they don't yo. just be fucking all day. Like, yo, you, man got to go get food. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. And it's different time. All this shit. I'm not trying to be, like, super scientific. Like, I yeah. know everything. There's a time and a place for it. And it's, like, and it could lead to, like, declining and shit like that. And you not getting to mm-hmm. what you got to get done and what's important in your life. And I think you could be doing a lot more shit. And I felt like I was accomplishing a lot more. And then you get sucked into different shit. You got, you know what I'm saying? You here. You doing this shit. And one thing leads to another. And it is what it is. But a lot of times, like... That shit could be really great if you find that that one person. It's like you look at a lot of people, a lot of great men. They got a lot of, they have a, a good woman beside them. Right beside you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And and a, a strong one doing their shit too. You know what I'm for saying? Sure. Holding it down. So I feel like it's it's on you though. Like if you, yeah. and it's on her too. Mm-hmm. We all have the option of who we let in our life and who yeah. we don't let in. And I think that's like 
one of also the biggest things. I think all these things are factors of like mm. how you do in life. And it just makes everything's got a, a reason why. For you know sure. what I'm saying? If I'm doing yeah. good or bad. Mm. So shorty, you better, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Head them up. Fuck I think yeah. this was good. You guys good? Hello, Senko. This was I think this was good. You guys good? This was good. Shit good. So so embrace the journey. Find what? a way to express yourself uh, and respect the hoes, right? Respect the hoes. That's the, that's the moral of it. Hey, respect everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Do respect what you gotta everybody, do. I, I mean, Be kind. Be, be peaceful. Be real. You know what be I'm real. saying? You don't got to be fake kind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Be real. Mm-hmm. When, it's, when it's due to be nice, be nice. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be nice to everybody. Sure. Mm-hmm. That don't just deserve it. I'm, situations yeah. depend on that, but shout out to these two for having me. You know what I'm saying? I hope everything go good with what you got going on. I see, I see what y'all got we going appreciate on. appreciate you, The bro. great and wise. Hold on real quick. Yo, if we, if we want to go listen to your music, where can we go find that right That's now? That's what I'm saying. Tell the people where Government they can find name. you. All right. So uh, all the other things besides SoundCloud is going to be L-I-L space C-I-N-C-O. L-I-L space C-I-N-C-O. Lil Cinco. And then on my SoundCloud, it is J-O-S-H-U-A. Joshua Rosinko. R-U-S-I-N-K-O. It's my government. You feel me? Um... But that's where you can find my music. I appreciate anybody who listened, who is going to be listening, you know what I'm saying? Take into the fact that it takes a lot for people, to, you know what I'm saying, to say what they got to say. Mm-hmm. And tune in for the mixtape. It's a lot 10th, you know what I'm saying? Chase your dreams. Don't try to be like me, be you. You know what I'm saying? I'm shutting shit down. And that's how that shit's going to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The beginning to Let's end. go. Yo, make sure you send that shit our way, bro, because we'll have that out there for everybody know. to see. I'm going to send it, I'm gonna send it first before that. shit. Let's so go. Let's go. I think that's just a banger. They going to know what it, it is, bro. This is it. That's yes, it. sir. They appreciate know who you are, bro. Thanks for being on. We appreciate yes, you, sir. bro. Yes, sir.